Bandido! Hi, everybody. This is John here. This is Paul. George. And Ringo. And we're very happy to be on your program once again. Hello, everyone. This is Steve Marinucci, host of Beatle News Briefs. This is show number 80, and it's a sequel to our last show, which featured Mark Lapidus talking about the postponement of the Fest for Beatle fans. Here, we're going to talk to Gary Jacob of Abbey Road on the River and what their plans are for that festival. The Abbey Road on the River Festival was originally scheduled for Memorial Day weekend, but as Gary says, they have some other plans in the works. So I'm gonna, I'll let you listen to Gary, and we'll be back after his interview with a little bit more. Anyway, here's Gary. Okay, we're talking with Gary Jacob of Abbey Road on the River. Uh, hello, Gary. Hi, Steve. I wanted to, to get uh, an update on the situation of Abbey Road on the River for people that were planning to go. Um, and so what's what's the situation look like right, right now? You you guys are normally Memorial Day weekend, is that correct? Right. Yeah, the, we the, are uh, May 21st to the 25th. And that's is that changing now, or is that going to stay the same? I uh, expect it's going to be changing. Uh, for a little background, about two weeks ago, before we even thought it was going to hit the peak here or be what we're experiencing, we sensed something, and we got back updates in August from the city and from all of our hotel partners. Mm -hmm. So we were feeling very confident uh, up until seven, eight days ago that even if the worst happened and we had to postpone until August, you know, we'd be okay. But then at the same time, when the CDC put out the report that May 11th would possibly be the all clear. We moved our event ahead one week so that we would give people more of a chance to get outside and be comfortable that, you know, we really did get the all clear. So the city gave us the last week in May, May 28th through the 31st, as well as the hotels. At the same time, we were still holding the August date when the Kentucky Derby rescheduled uh, two days ago. Mm -hmm. They rescheduled for September 5th, but they have a companion event called Thunder Over Louisville, who took the August Saturday that we had been planning as our backup date, which is August 15th. Mm -hmm. We were going to be August 13th to the 16th. Right. I mean, I think... Just like every agent and promoter you talk to, everybody's scrambling. So the final uh, summary of all of this, Steve, is we are holding May 28th to the 31st, August uh, 6th through the 9th, which I'm told is the same weekend as the fest in Chicago, but that's the way it goes. That's the way it, it goes. Turns out that's our week. Right. And uh, the one we're actually the most excited about, if you can use the word excited for anything, is October 9th, 10th, and 11th, which is John's 80th birthday. And we have that on hold with all of the hotels and the city. And I'm starting to believe that we're not going to get it all clear, if we even get it by then, until July or August, meaning that October date. It's starting to look very realistic to me. Okay, let's let's make it clear though that all of the dates you're talking about right now are are tentative. Everything is everything is up yeah. in the air. Everything um, is up in the air. We made an arrangement with the city that we'll talk again in two weeks, and that was like three days ago. Okay, what about the what about the uh, the acts? Uh, what's the situation with the performers? Well, most of you know of, of the bands that are our uh, what you'd call our basic tribute bands. Mm -hmm. um, well, I, I'm 
confident that for any of the dates, 80 or 90 percent of them will be able to come back. We've been communicating with them regularly for 10 days. I don't know what will happen to the international bands and when they will lift a travel ban on international bands. Um, as far as our headliners go, uh, we were talking with Tommy James's people yesterday, and uh, we know that he's available for the, the late May event and the August event but might not be available for the October event. Yes. And uh, we're, we're just not going to lose sleep over that part of it because everybody's shuffling talent. We're lucky that we're not making the same types of changes, big festivals with scarcer inventory of, of there's only so many, you know, bands who can headline Coachella or, for, or, or Bonnaroo or whatever. And in our case, our bands are, basic tribute bands that's how that's our stock and trade right we have a large inventory of them we we have 50 or 60 at any one time but we know 200 of them and if uh if if some can't come we'll reschedule they've all been there hasn't been a day yet where i haven't been on a chain email with all of our bands okay would it be fair to ask would it be fair to ask you to to say that as it, well, that the event will not be canceled altogether. Is that is that a fair thing to to ask you? Um, I mean, you you've got plans to to go on this year. Yes, absolutely, absolutely. I mean, we are betting on the world. I mean, we're we're all betting on the world. Right. That we're going to we find a way to abate this. And 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 if I, you know, like you or anybody else, we just curl into a ball and pretend that it's all over. Uh, I'm fortunate. I don't have twenty events where my cash flow has been so disrupted because 19 of them are already gone that I can't continue. I'm very lucky that I have this unique event that I was able to push forward and keep pushing forward into October. And I have a loyal fan base who best as I can tell from all the communications we've had with them, you know, probably 75% of them are going to hold out until we are able to do it in October. Okay. Okay. Is there any? any, any I, I go personally, ahead. if you said to me, "Am I canceling this event?" It'll be the last thing I do. But if I do it, it'll be because that is the only option left. Right. Right. Well, I just wanted to make clear that going forward, that you know, that right right now, that that that's what you're going to do. That there is the event will is scheduled to go on, and and so absolutely. yeah, absolutely. We're still working. You know, we. Uh, we're, we're not, uh, you know, again, I feel so bad for people, friends of mine that are in other in businesses, restaurants, production, where their shops are closed for 90 days, and, and they're not going to be able to get reopened. It's going to be impossible for so many. Yeah. It, yeah. The, the whole thing is the whole thing as of this moment. And, and today is um, March 18th. Uh, everything is really, you know, just kind of a question mark. And that's you know that's what's really um, bad. But I'm glad that you have a handle on it, and that going you know that it looks you know so far things look uh, look good for you. Uh, is there anything else? People are gonna go ahead. People are gonna need people are gonna need beat Beatle music by the end of the year, and I plan to give it to them. Okay. Is there anything? Um, well, I mean that's a good point. Good good way to 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 uh, uh, a statement to leave. But is there anything you want to say to to the fans? You know, the Abbey Road on the River fans um, directly. Yeah, I would like to tell everybody that uh, we care about everybody very deeply, and uh, we know that everybody's situation is unique, and nobody's situation. Is mine is not as dire as many others, and I'm uh, I've got my fingers crossed and my prayers open for each and every one of them to get through this. Okay, thank you very much, Gary, and uh, best of luck uh, with uh, the festival and best of luck with uh, everything going on. Yeah, it's likewise for you. Be careful, be safe. I have a lot of nieces and nephews in the Bay Area, so I'm uh, been talking to them pretty regularly. Yeah, okay. Yeah, it's uh, it's uh, it's pretty interesting up here. But anyway, thanks a lot, and uh, you take Bye. you take care, and thanks for talking. Bye. 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 Thanks again to Gary Jacob for taking the time to talk to us. If you want up to date 
information on the show, go to www.arotr.com. You can find our podcast on fab4radio.com. Thanks, Matt. And wherever podcasts are available. So look for us. Subscribe if you don't already. Join our Beatles News and Information group on Facebook where we post the news of new shows. And just uh, and also uh, follow us on Twitter. And we may even do Instagram sometime. I mean, we're not doing that as of yet, but who knows, maybe we'll start doing that. In any event, this is Steve Marinucci saying... Be safe out there, and be sure to practice social distancing. Till next time. Be seeing you. that one market fab